Well, g'day, my name's Chris Hall. I'm one of the orthopaedic surgeons here uh, at Toowoomba Hospital. Orthopaedics is a fantastic specialty um, and I think they have one of the best jobs in the world. The thing I think I like most about orthopaedics is the opportunity uh, that we have to improve patients' quality of life. Um, it is uh, a wonderful feeling to see a patient, um, for example, six weeks after a hip replacement and they come in and they say, Doc, thank you so much. You know, I'm now pain free for the first time in, in three years. Um, I'm sleeping again, I can walk my dog, I'm getting back to bowls. Um, and that really is one of the most rewarding parts of my career. Other things I like about orthopaedics are the fact that it's very uh, three-dimensional and uh, mechanical and technical and I suppose that's the way my brain works. And I also have always loved uh, working with my hands. Uh, so for me, I think it's the perfect specialty. So in the country, when I'm on call, I have to deal with anything that comes through the door. Um, so I uh, look after upper limb conditions, lower limb conditions, um, and uh, you know, every day is different. So for example, I might start by um, doing a revision hip replacement, and then I might fix a, a broken tibia. Um, I might have a, um, a ligament reconstruction um, for, a, for a knee injury, and then I might wash out a, an infected a joint in a child. So no two days are the same and it's a very varied and broad specialty and I really enjoy that. I really enjoyed uh, my regional time uh, due to the, the experience that I got. So across my five years of orthopaedic training, I did about um, 3,300 operations and I did 1,200 of those operations in my one rural year. The volume and breadth of exposure is fantastic in a regional centre. Um, uh, so for example, our trainees here in Toowoomba will average between six and 700 operations a year, uh, whereas in the city hospitals, they may only get four or 500 per year. I think the opportunities for medical students at Toowoomba Hospital are fantastic. At some of the metropolitan hospitals, uh, they're, they're much busier, they're much, there are a larger number of people on the team, so the opportunity for access to the operating theatres and clinics and the wards is not as great, whereas in Toowoomba, our students are often scrubbing with us, assisting with operations, they come into clinic, they're seeing patients themselves, um, they're seeing patients on the ward, and I think they get a great exposure. One of the privileges I have in my role here at the Toowoomba Hospital is to be involved with uh, medical students through the University of Queensland Rural Clinical School, um, and also training uh, junior doctors, um, principal house officers, and then trainees in uh, orthopaedic surgery as well. Training op opportunities in uh, Toowoomba Hospital in orthopaedic surgery are excellent. Uh, we have upper limb surgeons, lower limb surgeons and spine surgeons uh, and the experience for our trainees here is very broad. During your training you will have to spend time in the metropolitan hospitals uh, and, that's, and that's a fantastic um, opportunity particularly for the subspecialty areas but the exposure to general orthopaedics both elective and trauma in the Toowoomba Hospital is fantastic. Um, outside of work, um, my wife and I are both country kids, so we love living in the country. We never wanted to live in the city. Um, and one of the great things about living in a regional town is that we can live on a, on a small farm, uh, but still only be 12 minutes to work. Toowoomba has fantastic schools, um, so it's a great place to raise kids. Um, and it's really got everything you, you need um, locally. Obviously, um, you know, it's an hour and a half to Brisbane, and then you know, two hours to the Gold Coast two and a half hours to the Sunshine Coast, so very easy to have a weekend down at the beach if you want to as well. There's no question that the orthopaedic uh, training program is very competitive. So each year in Australia, approximately 50 uh, people are accepted onto the program, um, and uh, every year there'd be at least a couple of hundred applicants for those positions. My advice to um, uh, medical students and residents who are interested in orthopaedics is to uh, make the most of their orthopaedic rotations uh, get involved, let people know you're interested. You know, if you've got an evening off or a weekend off, speak to the registrar and call and say, hey, do you have any good cases on? Do you mind if I come in and assist? I know that uh, on the weekend when I'm um, operating, if a medical student or a resident comes in in their own time, um, that impresses me and I'm much more likely to let them get involved, maybe put some screws in, close a wound. I'd also uh, suggest that you get involved with a research project um, so like many other surgical specialties, um, orthopaedics uh, has a requirement for research. 
Research takes time, so you've got to start that early. Um, so I'd encourage you to speak to your uh, local department about getting involved with the research project. Um, other tips I have uh, would be to start studying for the generic surgical sciences exam. Um, it's a hard exam, it takes a long time to study, um, but you, it's something you've just got to get over and done with. Um, so start that early. Uh, and, and finally, talk to um, your PHOs and your registrars in your department and, and ask them about um, you know, their career progression and if they've got any tips. Another thing I'd suggest is to have a look at the Australian Orthopaedic Association website uh, and each year they update their CV marking guide and that'll give you a bit of an idea of what the college is looking for in terms of um, the application process. To become an orthopaedic surgeon, you'll need to apply for fellowship with the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons, known as RACS. The Australian Orthopaedic Association, or AOA, has delegated responsibility for the administration of the Surgical Education Training Program, or SET program, for orthopaedic surgery. The orthopaedic training program is a competency-based program which involves three components. The first component is introduction to orthopaedics. The second component is core orthopaedics and the third component is transition to practice. Entry requirements and prerequisites for application to the orthopaedic training program include having general medical registration, uh, being a citizen of Australia or New Zealand, or a permanent resident of Australia, successful completion of at least 26 weeks in orthopaedic surgery within the last two years at PGY3 level or higher, successful completion of the generic surgical sciences exam, successful completion of the RACS hand hygiene learning module and the RACS operating with respect e-learning module and successful completion of a state licensed radiation safety course. Applicants must first register their intention to apply for the SET program with the Royal Australasian College of Surgeons. The AOA collaborates with RACS as an agent of the college to administer the training program in Australia. For further information on the selection and application process, please consult the AOA selection regulations area on their website. It is important to note that AOA has a policy that allows prospective trainees a maximum of three applications to be accepted onto the training program. Queensland Health does not offer central allocations or preferencing for the orthopaedic surgery specialty. However, orthopaedic surgery trainees must submit an application through the Queensland Health Resident Medical Officer or RMO campaign for an employment contract to be issued by the allocated facility. My family and I have now lived in Toowoomba for six years and we love Toowoomba. Uh, it's a great place to raise a family, the schools are fantastic and um, the work environment here is excellent. We have a great team here uh, in orthopaedics and also more generally in the theatre and clinic and ward environments. Uh, and if you're thinking about um, coming to train regionally or in the longer term live regionally, I would definitely recommend it. Um, and particularly Toowoomba is a fantastic place to live.